So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you run this, there are some commands down below in the description. You just wanna copy and paste them all one by one. So for the first one, you just wanna copy this. And then you wanna right click right here and then click on edit and then click on paste and then click on enter. And now for the second one, do the same thing. Control C, right click, edit, paste, click on enter. If you get this, you wanna type in Y and then click on enter and just repeat all this again. So I'm just gonna do one more before I speed up the video. So Control C and then Control V, click on enter. And now I'm just gonna speed up the video. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in Windows PowerShell. You wanna right click on it and then click run as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in wuauclt dot exe space forward slash update now and then click on enter. This will also be down below in the description. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in File Explorer, click on it. And now once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and click on this PC. And then you're gonna click on the drive we have Windows installed on. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. You wanna click on that one. And then click on Windows. And you're gonna scroll down till you find software distribution. Here it is, you're gonna double click on this. You wanna delete everything in this folder. It's just your temporary files drawing. So it's gonna delete all this. Do this for all current items if you get this. And then continue. If some items are remaining, that's fine. Click on do this for all current items. And then click on skip. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now once the scan's been completed, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 